No metal detecting today, so we're on a road trip. So we've come to Manchester. Recently, they had a terrorist attack here, but you can't let that stop you doing what you enjoy. First port of call is the Imperial War Museum. Then there's a the big media city over there. There's Coronation Street, I'll show you that in a bit. So we're going in the war museum first. There's John. <laughs> John's filming. So here's the Imperial War Museum. It's a tank. Yeah, that one, that's been in Iraq. In the rock, the They're doing the the footage of like all the walls we've had. Also, most of our lives we've been living in war, that's been war. That's a military cross medal from the First World War. It was awarded to Captain William Batty, the Manchester Regiment for bravery. And that's his cigarette case. Silver. bit dark in this museum. There's like the ration cards where you had to get your food from. This is all World War One, this one. This is like the start of rebuilding the UK after the World War One. Cool car. This is getting on to World War II, which I'm interested in because my grandma was born here and she used to build the aeroplanes, well, the wings, in World War II. And my granddad was in World War II. Proper hand grenades there. the postcard from 1944 back on the Russian books look Even had a recipe book how to cook a nice dinner with your ration rules. Both the soldiers had to carry them. My granddad's brother was a prisoner of war in Japan. And there was a card showing what they had to do if they got caught. Let's 
terrible. Another big tank. Ooh. <laughs> That one. It's like a spaceship. Let's <laughs> have that engine. I remember this in 1976 when they thought we were going to get attacked by a nuclear war. They used to show this on the TV. If there is no building nearby, try to find some solid cover. If there is no solid cover, lie flat in a ditch or a hole. My uncle Ralph was in the army at the time. As fast as you can with some of your clothes. If you hear the fallout warning, he said he will give us ten minutes warning and ringers. <laughs> seek the nearest and best cover as quickly as you can. But before entering the building or cover, brush or shake off any fallout dust you may have picked up and get rid of it. Change your outer clothing. If I you think can. if a nuclear bomb went off, you'd Stay be vaporized. <laughs> There's Coronation Street. That's where they film it. <laughs> the new studio. Right, we're in the Lowry Centre now. There's the Media City where the BBC. Blue Peter over there. Coronation Street there. And the Blue Peter Badgers. We're going on the big bridge now. It's the Blue Peter Badge. <laughs> this is where they film all the news and everything. <laughs> it's crazy. There's even EastEnders up there. No, they came up north. John, we're going to take me in this restaurant then. The Alchemist. <laughs> He's already looking at the prices. It's the Lowry Theatre. It's huge. A building. Look at them pretty trees. Shop. All these Christmas trees. I've been, I've got bids on them to raise money for charity. The cricket, that one. <laughs> There's one from the Disney shop. Currently at £300. All the DVDs on it. Yankee Candle. Look at that one. That one's been bid four hundred pounds on that one. It's a bigger. They've all got products on them from the shops. They really <laughs> There's Man United's football ground. Yeah. Look, swans. I think we've got something to feed them with, but we haven't. <laughs> It's very cold today. I think it's six degrees Celsius to said today. <laughs> right, we're going to make our way home now. We've done a lot of walking. 